Hey guys, welcome back. This is once again Dr. Anjit. So in PW Medit channel, I had a very brief video of how to start using AI tools to make your learning much better. And I'm going to continue with a series of videos on how to make sure that you use AI tools to better your learning, not just from a medical degree perspective, and also to better the way by which we perceive healthcare. And maybe sometimes in future, we might be the forerunners of uh, leading the AI and the healthcare journey, right? So if you're first time here, click the subscribe button and let's learn more and more things together. So in the previous video, I had uh, helped you on how to actually create a mind map if you're struggling to create a mind map for yourselves, use Google's Notebook LM to create that, right? In the same video, I also told that there are multiple other features, not just the mind map, there are audios, there are videos, there are quizzes, and one such video is what we're gonna look at here today. How to create a quiz required for your expertise, whatever exam you're gonna target on, and how to use it from the standard books not anywhere from the internet, right? So let's deep dive in. Uh, and I'm sure that you have seen this screen already. This is the same screen what I used for. You can see that Robbins uh, has been uploaded here and we created a tiny mind map on apoptosis. We had added the source as well, right? So what I have done here is a tiny bit of pre-work what I've done here is I've asked the uh, the notebook LM to primarily read Robbins and give me a compilation of the topics on necrosis, apoptosis, pyroptosis, necroptosis, hyperplasia, hypertrophy, metaplasia, and atrophy. Most likely, all the important previous year questions or topics which can come from the first chapter of Roberts, right? You can do this for any book, any chapter, whichever way you want. I'll tell you why I want this because I don't want the question to be from entire Roberts because I'm starting to prepare for entrance exam. Okay, I saw this video. I want to solve the questions with respect to this video. So, right. So, what I did was it gave a beautiful thing along with the page numbers as well. Right? It gave a beautiful summary of everything and as usual, I'm going to save it to the node. You click on it, you can look at the side button, it's automatically saved to the node, right? Now, the most important thing is convert this into the source. You, It has to be the source. Like I said, I don't want questions from the entire Robins. I want questions from the specific topics I want, right? So what you do is uncheck everything again and check only on this part, what we had added as an, into the node now, cell entity adaptation, cell length and everything. Now I'm going to go to the quiz. The most important thing before going to the quizzes, I want you guys to give the AI algorithm specific prompts so that the quiz can be generated in the way you want, right? Now, before going to the quiz, there's a symbol for the edit button. Click on that edit button. Once you go there, you can actually say, ah, fewer number of questions I want, standard questions I want, I want more questions. I always prefer standard questions, neither few nor more, right? Easy, medium, difficult. If you're starting first, go with easy, medium or a hard, right? Let's go with medium for the Obviously, we'll go to the hard next. And the most important thing is what should be the top? What should the topic be? So here is where the beauty of AI works, the prompting. If you're preparing for an USML exam, ask it to create questions for USML exam. If you're preparing for a neat PG, ask it to create the questions for neat PG. Now let's see, I'm gonna give you a prompt. Let's see if it works. Hey Gemini, I want you to uh, act as a neat PG tutor for me and scrape through all the last five, 10 years of neat PG specific PYTs and use the same template to create questions from the source which has been attached to you. Okay, so obviously it's in uh, voice to text. So there might be a few errors like this. Okay, act as a neat PG tutor for me, scrape, uh, uh, neat, it's not neat PG specific, right? Yeah, obviously we need PG, but the need PG specific, use the same template to create the question attached for you, right? Let's click generate. Let's see if it actually can do the magic what it's supposed to do, right? The beauty here is it's unlimited and you can do it at any point of time you want. You just might need a pro subscription and uh, Gemini these days and almost every AI model these days gives you a free subscription. So go with that, get that, grab that and use it, right? And in the further videos, we'll be talking about how to create an infographic if required, flashcards if required, especially for a person who's preparing for MLE, US MLE, flashcards are a very, very useful tool to quickly read through things. And especially when you're in the early half of your medical career, I would still say flashcard is an amazing tool for you to learn, right? And we have audio review. We'll go on that also in a separate video. We have video reviews on uh, how to actually create an... Uh, teaching style videos. We can give prompt for that and also you can do that, right? And like I said before, many, many, many languages. Language is not going to be barrier in future for sure, right? It took just a minute. I was just talking through the entire thing so that it can create a quiz. Let's see if it has really done a good job or not. Click on the pathology quiz. Ah, fingers crossed. A tissue sample of an organ uh, showed preserved tissue architecture intensely or Pretty reason, no? Pretty reason, right? Okay. Ah, that's right. 
The beauty is, when you click right, it not just says right, it says that uh, this pattern is seen in infarcts. And the beauty is, if you wanted to explain further, uh, there's not enough for me, I want a little bit of more explanation, click on the explanation and look here. It's taking from the quiz, looking from my sources, it's not going anywhere from the internet, it's looking from Robbins and it's giving the entire requirement detailed topic of it, right? Beautiful, right? Let's go to the next one. I'm just going to random click on, not going to read the question. Okay, it's not wrong. It's wrong, right? It's not quite. So it tells why it is not the right answer. That is the beauty of AI. You can do it at any number. It has created 10 questions for me. Let's say you come to the Nishchev batch. Today we are going to read about hemodynamics and shock, uh, one tiny chapter on edema. Go to the book, put that in the Google, create your own questions. And the only thing which is stopping you from acing is not trying. And if you're ready to try, the technology is so that so you need not spend much money. You just need to learn. But please be focused, stay tuned and uh, comment in the below section. What do you want next? I'm going to explore almost every AI tool which is going to be useful for medical science as a whole for the learning tools of MBBS and uh, above, right? See you soon. Till then, bye-bye from Dr. Anjit. Bye-bye. Stay tuned. Happy.